Let's take a look at a DC to DC boost converter. So I made one up here. This, it has a uh, inductor here, and it has some kind of a switch. I'm using a MOSFET. This happens to be a 2N7000. Uh, and then a diode and a capacitor. Capacitor just to store the voltage, and this diode to keep the voltage from uh, going back the other direction. Now, what happens here is that uh, when we energize this MOSFET, uh, current's going to flow through the inductor to ground this way. And this side is going to be positive, this side is going to be negative, and it's going to build up a uh, magnetic field in the, uh, in the coil. Now, when we open this up, this field is going to collapse, and this side will become negative, and this side will become positive, and that's going to put this uh, collapsed field in series with the, the voltage coming in, and so the voltage is going to add up here. So we're going to add whatever... The voltage here is going to collapse plus our five, so it's going to always going to be greater than our, our input voltage. In this case, I want to put in five volts and I want to get ten volts out. So, uh, in order to, to find the uh, the inductor to use, there's there's several ways to do it. Uh, I have I wrote down three different formulas here. I don't know where this one came from, but uh, you take the duty cycle, which is for me it's fifty percent, and uh, Time divided by the frequency times the voltage in and divided by the ripple. Now, the ripple is uh, determined by the capacitance out here. Now, I've only got a 100 uh, microfarad capacitor out here. And uh, so I'm just, I'm, I'm guessing that the ripple is going to be 10%. That's quite a bit, but uh, I don't have much filter out here. So I put those numbers in and I get uh, 830 microhenries out of the inductor that I need to get my 10 volts out, okay? Now, Texas Instruments, they do it a little differently. They have uh, V in times uh, V out minus V in and divide it by the ripple times the frequency times the output voltage, okay? And if you plug all those numbers, now I'm using uh, 30K for my uh, frequency just because I can, I have it. And uh, Anyway, you divide that out, and it comes out to 830 microhenries, same as this, okay? Now, Adafruit, on theirs, you take your percentage, uh, your the duty cycle, which is 50%, times Vn, times uh, uh, 1 minus your 50%, uh, divided by 2 times the switching frequency, and in this case, we're going to use the, the current output current, so... I'm just going to have a, a couple million, uh, 200 milliamps coming out, so 0.02 here. So if I if I divide this out, it comes out to uh, 1,040 microhenries. Okay, so now I have a uh, a one millihenry inductor, which is a thousand microhenries. So I'm going to go with uh, with that one millihenry inductor. Now, in order to get my 10 volts, I may have to uh, adjust the uh, the frequency. To get it okay now you can either adjust the frequency or you can adjust the uh, uh, the coil here but uh, adjusting the frequency is going to be easier for me so I, I put it together let's uh, let's see if it works let's turn turn this on I've got uh, five volts coming in I've got and I'm gonna put this is gonna be uh, the frequency here so I've already adjusted it down at 10 well 10.3 volts I have uh, 20 uh, 27 uh, kilohertz so uh, it, it's working so I have 5 volts in 10 volts out and at that's at uh, 27 uh, in fact here it is down here 27.9 uh, kilohertz so uh, it's working Thank you.